And right now at 6, protesters in Kenosha take to the streets to demand justice for Jacob Blake and honor Breonna Taylor's life. One of those demonstrations is going on right now in Kenosha, where in a separate incident, Jacob Blake was shot by police seven times in the back. His supporters are continuing to demand justice while also paying tribute to Brianna Taylor. Ben Jordan now live in Kenosha with Reaction. Ben. Charles and Shannon, members of Jacob Blake's family are currently being joined by religious and community leaders inside this sanctuary right now, listing their demands when it comes to the Jacob Blake case. They are also condemning the charges yesterday in the Brianna Taylor case. My photographer might be able to just step in. We stepped outside not to try to disrupt anything. They are speaking in front of dozens of protesters right now, and uh, several speakers have already uh, spoken earlier tonight. Here is a look at some video of a march leading up to this gathering. Dozens marched about a half mile with Blake's uncle and Reverend Jesse Jackson. Inside the church, community leaders say they are not going to allow what happened to Brianna Taylor's ruling repeat in the upcoming decision on pending potential charges for the officer who shot Blake last month. These leaders joined Blake's uncle in two demands. They want that officer to be fired from the Kenosha Police Department. They also want Officer Shesky to be charged with attempted murder. Here's Reverend Jesse Jackson from just a few moments ago. In some sense, the bullets in Jake's back has been a source of power for our nation. Seven bullets couldn't kill him. And when this event wraps up in just a few minutes here, uh, protesters plan to continue marching, but Reverend Jackson, as well as other community leaders, are calling for peace here tonight in Kenosha. Reporting live, Ben Jordan, TMJ4 News.